Good morning, everybody. Sorry, I'm getting started just a couple minutes late. I was uh, conversing with Zoom about the school schedule. So, you know, all doable stuff. So today we're gonna test our endurance. We're gonna go hard on some body parts here. So we're the, we were really lower body centered on Tuesday. And today we're gonna be a little bit more upper body. We are doing full and of course cardio, but it is gonna really test your arm strength. So um, if at any point during these exercises you need a break, you take it, right? I might need that, I'm sure I will. Put the weights down and you just keep going or set your arms down and you know let it shake all out. Um, that's gonna be pretty if that's my thumbnail. That's gonna be awesome. Um, anyway, also wanted to let you guys know, I'm trying to start transferring all these videos over to YouTube so there can be one channel where you can access all of them on there. I have five of them up now, it's just Fitness with Jess, and then um, I'm continuing to work on it. So you guys know me and technology, we don't get along. So this is not pretty, and um, but it'll be accessible. So there you go. Um, let's go ahead and get up. So you'll need heavy weights, but you want light weights available because you'll probably have to switch to light weights. And there's a couple of them that um, you're, you're gonna want light to start off with. So that's all you'll need, and then a mat. And I found some music that's non-copyrighted. So we can just use it and not worry about getting muted. So there we go. Everybody get up. And I'll put this music here. Turn it up a little bit. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna grab my water. The way that we'll do it, for the day, and I'm gonna tell you this now, because it's not gonna be too exciting, but. Good morning. Yeah, Robin, you're on the right one. You're on the right one. <laughs> Sweet Robin clicked the wrong um, the wrong lesson last time and did a recorded one. Oop, it's okay, this time you're here. So you're gonna be, uh, you're gonna have an exercise that you're gonna do. 30 seconds of that exercise. Then you have a second exercise that's very similar to that. 20 seconds of that, back to the 30. 10 seconds of that one, back to the 30. 20, 30. 30, 20, 30, 10, 30, 20, 30. All of the same. So you're just gonna burn, baby burn. Good morning. Um, send, somebody send Claudia the, looms, uh, the Zoom login, please, if you can. Um, I'll get it back to you, girl, but I think, you sh I think you'll get it. So I'm, Claudia needs the number. Okay, so everybody get on up. We're gonna get started. Obviously, we'll pull on our knees, open up our hips. Good job, guys. Good. Got a lot of people trying to figure things out here this morning. <laughs> All right, good job. Try to get it up as high as you can. See if you can pull it in just a little bit higher. I really want you to think about squeezing that knee, pulling it into the chest so that you tighten the space between your quad and your torso. But keep your back nice and straight. Good. Okay, keeping your back straight Take those knees, pull them up, but out to the side. So up and out. When you pull it in first, and then take it out to the side, you're engaging that hip right straight into the joint. So you're locking it in place, and then opening it up, which is super good to warm up all those teeny tiny muscles holding on to your hip in there. Good, just two more. Good work. Starting with the right leg, little bend in your left, you're gonna take it and swing it straight up, back, Swing straight, your leg is not bent. Nice and straight, not bent on the knee. Your left leg is bent out here. For support, take it back and forward. You will see kicks later today. So, we're trying to get all those muscles warmed up. Good work, two more. Last one, straight all the way. So it switch legs, right leg bent, left leg straight up and back. So you are not even bending it behind you. When it comes back, even then it's gonna be nice and straight. Good. Kick up, kick up, kick up. Good job, give me three more. Three, two, last one. Open up those arms, little circles, bigger circles. Good, this time try to make them really, really big. Windmills here. There's really no strength behind this one. You're just warming up those joints, lubricating everything, getting all of your blood flowing. Go the other way, please. 
Good job. Give me two more. Two. One. Awesome job. Walk down to the floor in this quadruped position. I want you to take your feet and walk them back into plank position. So you're in plank, right? When you're in plank, take that right arm, push up to the ceiling, back down, left arm, ceiling, back down, walk your feet in, staying down nice and low, bear crawl position. Right back up into plank. Right arm and left arm. Walk those feet in, back stays down. Good. Take it out. Right arm, up you go. Left arm, up you go. One more time. Walk those feet in. Good job. Take it back out. Right arm and left arm. Let's hit some mountain climbers. 25. One, two, like that. So both legs are two. I mean are one, excuse me. Good. 25 of these. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold it here. Plank jacks. Ten plank jacks. You'll see these later. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Walk your feet in. This time, pike position. Up you come. We're going to get started. What we need to do right off the bat, you're doing non-cardio first, but you're going to burn, baby, burn. So, two weights right here. In this position, the right, the left arm is going to stay stable. The right arm overhead press for 30 seconds. Now, when I say 20, you're going to do both arms. Then you're going to hold the right arm and do the left for 30. Then I say 10 and it's both. Back to left, back to right. There you go. I'll walk you through it. I, this is the, we're doing this one first for two reasons, three reasons. One, to get it over with. Two, it's non-cardio, so I don't want to pop into cardio yet. Three, this is the only one where I'm going to give you breaks because I want blood to flow back into your arms. Then you'll come back up and get going. Okay? So that's where we're going to be. Heavy weights first. Knock it out. Get my timer started. Keep your light weights close to you because for this one, you will likely have to switch weights at some point, okay? So both arms up, the right arm is moving first. Three, two, one, both arms here. Tuck that pelvis under. What you're gonna notice as we get going with this one is that that left arm that's not doing any active motion, that's the one that's gonna grow the most weary on you. And you're gonna start to let it fall down and drop. We gotta be super duper careful to keep it up where it belongs. So if you have a mirror, if you're looking at your reflection on Zoom or Facebook, try to make sure that your elbow is steady. Three, two, both arms, 20 seconds. Keep those glutes squeezed and if your core engaged, that will keep you from swaying your lower back. Good work, keep it up, you're doing great. Good job, five more seconds here, then your right arm is steady and your left arm moves. Three, two, right arm steady, left arm moves. I'll give you a break right after this one. Good, keep that core engaged. The more tired you get, the more your arms are gonna wanna fall to the ground, and then you're gonna bend that lower back and compromise yourself there. Keep that core engaged. Good work. Woo! 10 more seconds here. Urgh. Push, push, push. Blood, leaving, arms, three, two, set them down for just a second. Let that blood flow, because you're going right into the 30 seconds. I'm sorry, the 10 second double-handed push. Three, two, and one. 10 seconds, 10 only. No biggie. Whew. Woo! And rest so the left arm stays elevated and the right arm pushes. Good. Don't be afraid to let those arms come down and let the blood flow back into them. You can also set them down, get your lighter weight, and keep going from there. Good job. You're halfway done with this one. Woo! Woo! Good work. Urgh. Push. Push. Oh, be break. Three, two, two arms. Both. Pushing like crazy for 20 seconds. 
and then you're gonna get a break, and you have one more series, and you're done. I'm gonna take a break so I can flip back to my arms. Ah! I'm strong, I'm strong, I'm strong. I can do it. Three, two, or set your arms down. One more series. This time, the right arm stays put and the left arm is in motion. Blood flowing back to the arms. You have 30 seconds left. Here we go. Three, two, we got it. No problem. Push. Right arm is up. Left arm is so, so strong. Check that back. Make sure you're doing okay. Tuck that pelvis, squeeze your glutes, engage your core. That will keep you in alignment and your core nice and stable and back not compromised. Holy macaroni and cheese. Almost done. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh my gosh, that burns. Yow. Oh, ow, ow, made it through. Good job, guys. Good job. All right, let's take a second. Push those arms down behind you. Grab a hold of your wrists. Separate your shoulder blades from your ears. Give some space in there. Woo-wee! Feel that later. Good job. Okay. Now we'll hit into cardio. So now, the next series, if you want weight just for your own strength, you may use it. I'm not gonna use weight because this doesn't require that here. You're gonna need plie squats. 30 seconds of plie squats. Then you'll jump into jump squats, plie jump squats. We haven't done plie in a long time. So it focuses on your inner thighs. So we're gonna do that. So the whole entire time, plie squats, jump squats. 30 seconds, 20, 10, blah, blah, blah. Here we go, plie squats in three, two, and one. You can hold a weight here in the center if you want to. I'll probably do that at some point. I want to start without it just to show you what the form that I want. Legs are nice and wide. Toes are pointing out to the side. Every time you sit down, you press your knees back. So they go out and back like you're swimming with them. Out and back. You want nice long space in between your pubic bone and your knees. You have five seconds before we start jumping. Three, two, one, VA jump. 20 seconds here. Woo! Good job, guys. Awesome. Three, two, one, plie position. Raise your right heel. 30 seconds here. Right heel is off the floor. Adding weight increases that cardiovascular output. Good job. Woo! Nice job. Next time we'll lift the left leg. Go down as far as you can. Good, don't forget to push those legs out to the side. Five seconds, let me start jumping. Three, two, one, 10 seconds. All the way down. Three, two, Sit down, left leg is raised. Oh, hot dog, love it. Sit all the way down, try not to bend at the waist so that your chest comes forward. You want your chest straight up like someone is pulling the top of your head to the ceiling. Knees go out. Good job, guys. Woo! Nice work. 10 more seconds, then we're gonna start to jump. For 20. I didn't ever grab a weight. I should do that. Here we go. Three, two, start jumping. 20 seconds.
cardiovascular output. You can add in little hops here, but I just wanna make sure you're sitting down as far as you can. Good work. Five, four, three, two, and one. You did it. Good job. Woo! Awesome work. Next one. Okay, back to those arms. This is the time where you're gonna need a lighter weight. So you're gonna use, sorry, something in my eye. Both arms, lateral raise, alternate side to side, side to side. And when I say go, it's both arms at the same time. 30, your 30s are one, one arm at a time. Your smaller numbers are both arms at the same time. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. I am using a lighter weight because in order to maintain proper form here for that amount of time, I'm gonna need a lighter weight. I could do a heavier, you could do a heavier, but if we want, if we want to think long term, it's a little bit better to go with the lighter weight here. Good. As you come up, turn your elbow out just a little bit. Thumb should point down on the way up, and you don't want to come past your shoulder line. Good job. And three, two, both arms. 20 seconds here. Good, I'm actually gonna increase mine just a little, they're just a little too light. Good work. So I brought my weight up for now, but I'm gonna take it back down. Good job. Five, four, three, two, alternate side to side, right and left. Good, arms are coming straight up. You don't wanna go past that shoulder line. Once again, your pelvis is tucked under, your glutes are squeezed, core is engaged. And we are not rocking with our back, are we? You also have the option as a different exercise to come out to a, to a B here, but we're not gonna do that today. We will do that at another, at another point. But for your own benefit, to work all those rotator cuff muscles, you could go in front, here, then you could go V, and then straight out to the side. All three good options to work all those little muscles. All right, three, two, both arms. Take it up and down. Good job. I think I cut it short a little bit there. Good work. Straight out to the side, straight out. If you're struggling, change your weight. Three, two, some one at a time. Good work. Now your core should not be leaning side to side to get that weight up there. If you are leaning side to side, the weight is too heavy for you. You'll need to drop it down just a little bit. Good job. Woo wee! We'll hit cardio on the next round. This one is just a burner. Good job. All right, you're almost ready to go back up. Back to the 20s. Three, two, and one. Both arms, 20 seconds here. Whoo! Burn, baby, burn. Good job. See, I set my, my uh, additional weights down, came back down because I knew that I was gonna start losing form and I don't wanna do that. Three, two, one arm at a time. Last time through. Alternate side to side. Here's where I can pick them up again. Alternate, good. Good work. Nice job, guys. Keep that core nice and strong. David, that looks really good. Excellent job. Good job, guys. Claudia, I don't see you. I'm wondering if you didn't get the code. Almost done. 10 more seconds. Push. Push, push, good job. Three, two, and one, you are done. Good job. Shake those arms out, nice job. Okay, so here I told you we'd be back at those front kicks, right? So you're gonna take your right leg, kick, kick, okay? Right leg for 30 seconds, then it's a speed, double kick. That's your higher one. Then you go back to the left. Okay. Now I want this to be cardiovascular. So you're going to have to really drive, drive it as hard as you can. Right leg is first. Let me get some water. And three, two, one. 
Left knee is bent. Those arms are pumping, 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 pumping. If you have very light weights, one, two, three, three pounds, you can put them in your arms. As you go here, bend and flick. That knee comes bent, the ankle, I'm sorry, the heel kicks out. So take it back, kick it up. Take it back, kick it up. You're 30 seconds on this side. Then we do both legs. Three, two, speed it up. Good, 20 seconds. Get those knees up. You want to really work to get those legs as high as you can get them. Not easy, I know, but I know you can do it. Three, two, left leg drive. Move, move, take it back, kick it up. Add yourself as much speed as you can get here. Woo, woo. Good job, guys. Come on, push, 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 push. 10 more seconds, then we're going into doubles. Do you find one leg easier than the other? Three, two, doubles. 10 seconds only. Your quads are probably feeling a little bit of burning. Here, three, two, right leg, hopping and puffing. You should be really struggling to breathe at this point. Good. Good, keep that left leg bent. Drive that right leg. Get behind you, don't be afraid to squat down. Five, four, three, two, both legs, 20 seconds. Boy, you'll be glad when this one's over. Get those squats up there. Here we go. 
chest press. Right leg starts with the crisscross. Here we go in three, two, and one. Right leg is crossed. Push that knee out. Hips come up, arms come up at the same time. Your arms are not touching the floor. Arms don't touch the floor. Your tush doesn't touch the floor either. Just barely push. Drive those arms up, drive your hips up. Good work. 10 more seconds, then you'll set the right leg down, keep your hips up, and do skull crushers. Three, two, one. Heels down, hips up, cross the weights. Elbows stay facing forward. You are just dropping your forearms to your forehead. Forearms to forehead. It's all in the fours. <laughs> and we have figure four position two. Everything is in the fours. Crush, don't hit your head. Be very careful. Three, two, arms by your side, left leg comes up, up and down. Good work. Drive those hips. Your heel, your right heel is planted into the floor, but your right toe is off the floor. Left leg is in figure four position, knee pushed out to the side. Good. Up and down, up and down. Good work. Three, two, heel comes down, cross the weights, skull crushers. Waist is staying elevated. You're only here for 10 seconds. That's all you got. Three, two, right leg comes over, weights go down and up. Woo! Good job. If your arms are getting tired and you need to set the weights down, let the blood flow back to them, you do that, just keep your hips moving. You can set the weights here and keep the hips moving if you need a little break for the blood flow. Good. Three, two, one, weights come down. I'm sorry, heels come down. Weights go up and down, forehead to forearm to forehead. Twenty seconds. Good job, guys. Keep it up. Three, two. Left leg comes across. Arms are up and down. This is your last time through. Make sure that that left knee is facing out. You are pressing through the knee. Butt goes down. Right heel driven into the floor. Toe up. Toe up. Hips up. Arms up. Everything up. Good job. Keep it up. 10 seconds. Come on, push, push, push. Give your glutes a squeeze up at the top. Five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent job. Way to work those arms. Well done. Okay, back to cardio. Okay, I told you at the beginning that you would see those plank jacks again. So, I don't know that these have a name, but I call them T plank jacks. So, I'll show you what it is. We've done it before, it's not new. So in plank position, which your arms are kind of noodly at this point, right? So you're gonna have to hold on. You're gonna be here a long time. You're gonna bring it in and out, okay? So you're making a T, in, out. That's your 30 second exercise. When it's time to kick it up, then you just come up into sumo. Take it back down. So it's like the lower half of a burpee. So your arms are gonna be feeling really noodly by the time of all, all this is over. All right, those are your two exercises. T, plank jacks, and then the plank to sumo. All right, hold on, contact lens. Wow, you guys get a break because of my contact lens. All right, here we go. Three, two, and one. Take it in and out, in and out. That's how it's gonna go the whole time. You wanna try to keep your back nice and flat. You can lift your chin to help that top of your thoracic spine deep, deep, uh, go down to the ground. So whatever word I want. If you look under, see when I look under, I round my back a little bit. So if you look up, that'll keep your back a little bit flatter. You don't have to look up so much as just forward. Three, two, 
Take that. 20 seconds. So you're never standing all the way up. Your body is coming up, but you're never standing up. Three, two, plank jacks. Woo. Try to focus on getting those knees in as close to your chest as you can. Just do what you can. And if you start to grow too weary, you can make that a little more shallow. 10 more seconds here. Make sure that you're in the right position. 
position when you are doing these leg raises. You want your lower back to be buried into the ground. If the weights start to become too heavy, you can set them down. You can switch to just one. I'll show you what that looks like. You hold the one by both ends back behind you. That would be half the weight that you were doing. Three, two, take it up. 10 seconds only. And down, up, cross, cross, down, cross, cross, down. Three, two, back to position. Leg raise. If you feel like you're starting to pull the weight forward, it's becoming too heavy for you, you need to set it down and switch to just one. Good. Keep it up. Five, four, three, two, take it up. Punch, punch. 20 seconds. Doing great, guys. Getting stronger by the minute. You're gonna be stronger by the 30 seconds. Look at that, huh? You get stronger in half time. Three, two, one. Let's come back, let's go up. Last time. Try to keep those knees straight. Yes, I'm talking to myself. Everybody hop in. 
Looking good, folks. Woo! Three, two, one. One eighties. Twenty seconds here. Come on. Push. Push. Use those quads. Use those glutes to get your body up and around. Ten seconds down. Time to go. Three, two, hop, hop, squat. Last time through. Make this one your best. Save the best for last. Give me your best squats on this one. Woo, woo. Down, down, down. Good job. Come on. Hop, hop, squat. Hop, hop, squat. Bum, bum, chica. 10 more seconds. Nice work. Bum, bum. Woo, bum, bum. Woo. Three, two, and one. Good job. Done with that one. Moving on. So, in case any of you is watching a clock, to time me because I don't tend to be 100% consistent. Every one of these, you've given me 40 seconds for the last time. Not 30, 40. I'm doing it on purpose. But you didn't know. So, there you go. Unless you were following me. Okay. Next one. Okay, I need a second to explain. We've done these before. These are those crouching tiger push-ups. Kira Stokes, thank you. What you're gonna do here, you'll dive bomb down into a plank position, push up when you are here. Bend your knees, drive your elbows back so your body's staying down low. Hike position, swoop down again. So swoop, drop, push down low, butt up, Okay? That's where you are. I'll walk you through it. Your second exercise is a push-up hold. So you can come down on your knees or stay up on your toes. Hold it down low and just hold it until I say stop. That's easy, right? Okay, that's what we're doing. Here we go. Whoopsies. I always tell if I talk too long because I lose my stopwatch. Here we go. In three. Two and one. Swoop it down. Push up. Push back. Stay low. Hike. Swoop. Push up. Push back. Hike. Swoop. Push up. Push back. Hike. Swoop. Push up. Push back. Hike. Swoop. You are not done with your first 30 seconds just yet. Three, two, drop to your knees, push up, hold. Hold it down at the bottom. Woo wee, good work. You can do it on your toes if you want to, but you don't have to. Here we go. Three, two, push it back up. Off we go. Swoop, push up, push back, hike. Swoop. Push, back, up, swoop, push, back, up, swoop, push, back, hike. Good job, guys. You're doing great. Five, four, three, two, drop to those knees, push up, hold. Only 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Come back up, we'll make the transition slow. Down you go. Swoop, push up. That was terrible, Jessica. Up, swoop, push up. Bend those knees, use those triceps, which are probably starting to scream at you a little bit. Push back, up, swoop, push up, push back, hike. Three, two, drop to your knees, 20 seconds holding. You got it, guys. You're almost done. One more time through. 10 more seconds here. Three, two, 
three, two, one. Take your time getting up. Last time through. Swoop. Push up. Push back. Push. Swoop. Push up. Push back. This is a tricep push up on this one. So your elbows are going straight down, which makes the push back a little bit easier because your elbows are in the right position. When you push back, your knees are actually staying off the ground. Okay, you can set them down if you need a modification, but the point is to keep them up off the ground. Three, two, and one. Good work, come back into child's pose. Just stretch out those arms. I'll go down there with you. Good job, guys. Well, we're really testing our endurance today, aren't we? Woo wee! Okay. Next one. You have in your space just enough room to move your body around, right? So in that space, I want you to pick, pick four points. Make a box, a square on the floor, okay? One, two, three, four. What I want you to do is to run spot to spot facing forward the whole time. That's your 30 seconds. The next 30 seconds through, you'll go the other way. And then, in between, you just do skaters, okay? That's your faster one. I'm gonna move my mat to give myself a little bit of breathing room on this one. Make my square a little larger, plus I don't wanna accidentally step on it and go sliding into the wall. So, square run and skaters. That's your thing. Here we go. Ready?
Good job. High fives, high fives, high fives. Excellent work. Okay. Walk it off, walk it off, walk it off. One more. Okay. So this time, excuse me. Woo, we're gonna do walking lunges. So if you don't have a whole lot of space and you wanna just walk back and forth, I'll show you the two ways to do it. So walking lunges, forward you go, forward you go, forward you go. If you don't have a lot of space, I want you to do a front lunge, front lunge, then switch to a back lunge, okay? And then you know what we're gonna do, jumping lunges, okay. This is your last time, last one. Last one and you're done for the day. Walking lunges, you can carry weight if you want to, but don't let it change your form. Three, two, and one, here we go. Straight up and down, 90 degrees with both legs. And I'm gonna show you some modifications on this one. So I'm gonna take it back. I don't have a whole lot of space to go here. I come straight at you and then you gotta look at my backside, which isn't terribly fun. So this time I am gonna turn around because I want to show you this mod. Take a step, lift that back leg for a glute lift. Lift, lift, lift. Take it up, squeeze that rump. That's a good way to add a little bit more to this walking lunge. Good work. Five, four, three, two, jumping lunges. Just 20 seconds, so you don't need to think about it too much. If we weren't doing the jumping, I would have had you held on to hold on to weights the whole time. But I don't want you to jump up the weights. Unless you want. And there you go. I'm not liable. Three, two, and one. <laughs> Good. Walk and lift. Walk. Lift if you want. Carry weights if you want. Good. Now, another, another way to do this is when you add on that glute, you can take a big step. Knee drive forward. Knee drive forward. Knee drive forward. That's another way to do it. Five, four, three, two, jumping lunges. Next time through, I will show you how to do the knee drive with the glute lift. Three, two, one, walking lunges. Now, glute lift, knee drive, set it down. Glute lift, knee drive, set it down. Glute, knee, I'm gonna turn around. Glute, knee, set it down. Glute, knee, set it down. Glute, knee. If you're in place, if you're stationary, front, whoops, that was terrible, front, take it back and back, okay? That's what you're doing if you don't have a lot of space. Nine seconds. Back into jumping lunges for 20. Three, two, one. Jump, jump, jump. Set it down. I know your legs are tired, but you can do this. 20 seconds is like a blink. It's a blink. Three. Two, one, last 30. Take it up, drive. Take it up, drive. Take it up, hello. Take it back, take it back. I just ran out of space, so I'm just taking it back. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, you're done. Good job, you guys. We're gonna stretch it all out. High fives to Facebook, high fives to Zoom, high fives to YouTube. So, oh, Melissa's here, hi. Um, we miss you, Melissa. We're gonna go ahead and stretch it all out. Don't forget, I'm trying to transfer everything onto, face, onto uh, YouTube, Fitness with Jess. They're there, I don't know YouTube well, so it's gonna be, accessible. I'll say that much. It'll be accessible. And then cross it in front. Whoa. Have a seat. I put five on there. My goal is to put five more. But when I was looking through all of these Facebook posts, I think I have, I don't know that it's quite a hundred yet. 
um, on there, but every one of them is different, and it would be a shame to lose all of those um, and to not help my Zoomers be able to go back and do it again. So I wanted to make it accessible to you guys. So I'm putting it out there. Meh. We'll see what happens. I've already been copyrighted twice. <laughs> I mean, copyright restricted. I don't know how to do this. Okay. And set it down. Good work today. Tomorrow is a little bit more endurance. We're going to focus on endurance, strength, and time tomorrow. Don't forget to sign up for Saturday. There's a couple spots left. I've gotten a couple of texts while we were here um, about people that want the spots, so be very care uh, cautious and not cautious. Just get them I can. Oh my gosh. Words. Sit down. Arms up. Take it down to the floor. Knee goes back. Walk those hands forward so that your knee stays behind your elbows and push that knee out to the side. Good work. Knee comes back in, walk your hands back, drive those arms up, push through the pelvis, hip flexor goes forward. Good job, hands down, switch legs, right leg stays front, but left leg goes back, toes on the floor. Walk those hands forward so your knee falls to the outside, allow it to open up. Feel the stretch on the inner thigh. Good work, knee comes back to the center, arms up, drive through that hip. Good job, you guys. Everybody, both hands on the floor. Feet on the floor, hands on the floor. Place your hands under your toes. Push your toes into the floor. Pull away so that your arms are being pulled away by your um, hands. Sorry, your arms are being away, pulled away through the torso. Toes are pushing down to the ground. Feeling strength and stretching all through your arms. Bend your knees, hands on your knees. Push your body up. Arms up, big deep breath, blow it all the way out. Arms up, big deep breath, blow it all the way out. Have a wonderful Thursday, and I hope to see you tomorrow. Have a great day. Love you guys. Bye.